Hey, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Alex, and today I have a, a Gen 2 Pokemon uh, video for you. It was a very fun day, and this is going to be a cumulative of my catches from today and last night. Well, what will happen is, when I see these Pokemon out there, it's like they're all new. So it's like you catch them, but they're still noteworthy for me to be like sharing the experience. So uh, this Chinchu, which is an interesting name, uh, I caught this today, it was my new Pokemon, and it gave me a 500 XP for it. Now Chinchu is the pre-evolved form, so you do not get times two candy for it. Uh, here is Meryl, which is, it looks like, a, like some kind of a, like a pet bear. Uh, this was my uh, second catch already, I caught one uh, earlier in the week. Now the way times two candy works is, if you catch a, an evolved form of the new Pokemon, from what I understand, it's only the new Pokemon, you will get almost up to 10 candy. Uh, yesterday, I caught a Skarmory early in the morning, I'll leave the link for it, and I got 11 candy for it. I was like, man, and, uh, but actually I used a, uh, a Panap Berry for it too, so uh, that's why I got uh, extra. Now here is a, a Hopip. Now Hopip is, uh, is really cool, it's, it is the pre-evolved form, so you will not get a whole bunch for it, but I was like, man, it's you know, it's like I stopped uh, watching Pokemon just when the XY generation came out, just when like Gen 2 came out and stuff, it, and it's because like I couldn't keep up with the names, or maybe college happened, I forgot what, but watching all of these Pokemon now, it's like it's obvious how it was made even more interesting. It, like the characters, the designs, like they're made even more interested and like interesting and even like the reality of some of the Pokemon you can still connect them to real life uh, animals and that's why I always kind of liked Pokemon initially because they just had such a huge uh, similarity to real like animals in the wild and you know, it kind of made you feel like you know they were like a real real pet. And if you remember Tamagotchis and stuff like Pikachu, you know, you actually had to go and take care of them. And uh, and I thought that that was, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Sentret, uh, Sentret is becoming, I think, like the common Pokemon, like a Pidgey or a Rattata. I think that's the mirror. Tyranitar is the mirror Lapras. That's my honest opinion, because... He even spawns in the water sometimes, and he's just, he's very hard to come, uh, come by. Now, that was a, uh, a, a, a banap, or nabap berry. I'm still kind of trying to uh, learn some of them. And that, what that does is it kind of slows down the Pokemon. Uh, like, if, if it's a Lebia, or like a Lebedia, like, like the, uh, the ladybug Pokemon, they move around. And you'll see later in the video, I actually used uh, uh, an Anab Berry on her, and she just stopped moving. Like, she would be like all over the screen, but then she just stopped uh, moving. Now, this Pokemon right here, uh, Zatu, is in Evolve form. So you'll see me right now uh, getting, uh, you see the five candy right there? Usually get three. If I used a Panab Berry, which is a little pineapple berry, I would've gotten like, I don't know, like 11 or 10. Which is really, really cool. Uh, this one had decent IVs. I will catch a Pokemon later here in the video that will give me... Uh, it will have the best IVs. It will have like really, really good IVs. With this gym, I just added a Zatu just for my coin for today. Uh, I'm at 40 coins right now. And I need 6 more for me to get a uh, more space. Right now I'm at 350 space. And yesterday, or like two days or something, I bought, like, this This is the, the visuals, I bought uh, some space for 100 coins. They're discounted now, guys. If you have gym coins, uh, which is what I used, you will get a 50% discount. So for 200 that it's usually at, it'll be at 100. And this is going to be buying, this is me going to be buying my third uh, set of space. Right now I bought 100 space. Uh, I got 50 the other day, and then I got like 50, I got 50 like 2-3 weeks ago, but I bought it at 200 coins, which was, which was, which was a lot. So here is Natu, Natu is the pre-evolved form of Zatu, and uh, they, they both look very similar, 
So it's they're they're like an obvious evolution, not like a Dragonite or Charizard. Like you know, he's obviously like similar. So now here is uh, uh, here's Sunkern, which looks like a Groot, like a baby Groot. And this one, this is the Pokemon that I had like the best IVs on. And I was like, man, this is so cool. I was like, I did not expect to get a Gen 2 Pokemon with really good IVs. I don't think it's 100. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to double check. But it did say he can battle with the best of them. And uh, I'm Team Instinct. When that says that, that means that it's a, it's a really good Pokemon. You guys can definitely expect more Pokemon videos. And to actually to evolve him, I'm, I will need uh, I need a stone for him. So that means you have to spin Pokestops and you have to try and uh, get it from that. Which I think is very, very smart on the antics part because it kind of forces people to go out there and participate. You know, like, if I could if I could have stayed at home, I could stay at home and, like, evolve stuff and things like that. But at this point, it really, really forces you to be outside. Now, this is going to be, uh, this is the Libido that I was talking about where I used a, uh, a Nanab Baryon to slow it down because you see it's all over the screen so what that's gonna do is it's just gonna it's kinda kinda like it's just gonna stop it it's just, you see it's just gonna stop doing that and it turns essentially easier to catch now I don't know if you could use them on Gen 1 Pokemon because not a lot of them jump around but I would think maybe you could use it on a Zubat or what else moves around a lot hmm I'm not really sure but uh, you see that there's a really really cool uh, uh, visual there, like the little berry appears right under the name, and uh, you can catch it uh, a little bit easier because it does move around a lot. So yeah, so I caught it. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching uh, today's video. Uh, check out some of my videos from yesterday. I did like a like a Tyranitar battle, and Tyranitar is really proving to be a good strong Pokemon but he can still be countered very well with the Dazzling Gleam. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in the next one.